Yeah. All right, welcome back. We got a special edition for you. New music alert right here. Yeah. You know Johnny Rod. He has got a partnership going with Tim Ryan, and they are making music as the Rod Ryan Group. Welcome, yeah. Tim. Uh, thank you. Of course, Johnny needs no introduction. <laughs> yes, no. I do. I need something. I'm not sure if it's an introduction, but I do need something. <laughs> I know you don't need no doctor. I know that. I don't need no doctor. All I need is my love machine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Tim, tell us about your, your love for music and writing lyrics and how this whole thing came about. It's pretty strange. Uh, I used to be a dentist for 35 years. Sure. Oh, my God. And then uh, I met Johnny in a bar. <laughs> well, it was Broadmoor, though. It was a, it was a yeah, really it was classy Broadmoor. bar in Broadmoor. <laughs> and he said, you know, I said, I could write some lyrics. And I've never written anything in my life. And I've been able to write 700 now. Crazy. Wow. Crazy. And, oh, so, so coming up, Tim, who were your favorite artists? Who were your favorite writers? Oh, like The Doors and uh, Bruce Springsteen and, and Jim uh, Morrison. Jackson Brown. Yep. Yeah. Those guys. Okay. Yeah, I was just asking Johnny what about earlier the if he what about uh, the Beatles. Man? The Beatles, yeah. Of I mean, course. Paul McCartney, John Lennon, George Harrison. Oh Ringer. man. What, what I, I was asking mean? Johnny earlier if he had ever played Red Rocks because I've been to about forty shows up at Red Rocks. I love that Great place. place. Yeah, I've, I've been there, but I, you know, I, I saw Jackson Brown there. Okay. How was he? Uh, he was pretty good. What, what, how, how long ago was it? How many years back? Oh, about a year or two. Okay. I've seen, I've seen him there like three times. Yeah, I, I saw him on those early tours, like 70, 75, when he had David Lindley on the steel yeah. guitar. Oh, wow. That was incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I saw, I think it was 72 I saw him. And I was like in the very back row. And the last time I saw him, I was like in the second row. Okay. <laughs> Oh, is that the, hey, Tim, is that the one where he said, I'll play what I want to play? <laughs> well, that was up in the Springs. Yeah, Everybody's yelling out, play this. And he goes, I'll kind of play what I want to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't, you chill out, man. I'm going to play everything I have planned for the night. <laughs> oh, well. yeah, it's yeah, I, I like that, um, I like that Pikes Peak Performance Center there. Oh, oh yeah, that's very nice. Did that one downtown? Yeah, I was yeah. just telling Johnny, uh, Cheap Trick played there like two weeks ago. Oh, they did? Well, anyway, man. Yeah. Oh. A lot, I would a lot, love a lot, lot of great you know bands. A lot of bands come through there, play the Pike Peak. Anyway, what we're doing, Jay, what's, what we're doing. What street is that on? I know it's off uh, um, Is that Pikes Peak Boulevard? What is that there? Yeah, I, I can't remember. I'm okay. Not it's, it's one of those big north-south streets. Yeah, it's it's a nice place. It runs parallel there. to Nevada and, and those. I saw a ZZ Top there. Oh yeah, ZZ <laughs> plays there. I saw ZZ Top when they had the ang angle stage with the they had cows on stage and everything. I, I saw that at McNichols Arena in Denver. Oh, I know. I played Blue McNichols Oyster Arena. Cult and the Outlaws Open. Yeah, it was I opened, called the I Texas Worldwide Arena. Tour. They had a they had a steer on stage. They had a rattlesnake yeah. in a <laughs> little pyramid at the at the top of the uh, or the bottom of Texas there on stage. Yeah, I played in Wasp, but we played at McNichols Arena. Okay. Yeah, and and they had like a buzzard, you know, looks like a big big beard. It was like like on top, uh, a big eagle was on top of uh, I think uh, Dusty's amp. Wow, there we go, ACDC. <laughs> I saw them at uh, Red Rocks. <laughs> I saw them. They kill. I love those guys. Oh man, so Johnny, when um, when Tim said he could write some lyrics and have you write music to it, what was uh, what was your first idea and what did you turn into him? Well, we were talking about, we were sitting at that bar when we met in Broadmoor. We we were just talking about life, you know, about craziness that we've lived in our lives, things like that. And I was talking about when I used to do a lot of drugs and 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 how it affects people and affects relationships. And we were just talking like normal people. And I said, I said, you know, I said, when I got high, I was, I, I became unavailable. I said that. I said, when I was high, I was unavailable because I was useless. And, and he goes, oh my God, he freaked out. He goes, I never thought about that. That is so right. That's so true. And I, and, and I said, well, well, why don't you write a song about it, man? And that's how it started. And so he, he, he we started talking. When I left, I didn't see him. And then we started talking on the phone and that. And, and, he, and he just started writing, his, writing these songs down. He, that was one of the first ones he wrote. It was called Unavailable. And we still haven't recorded it, Tim. You know? No, I know. But 
that's how it started. And and then it just it it blew, it grew from there. You know, we were talking, and then and then um he he kept he was sending me lyrics and things, like, and I ended up going out to his house, flew out there, from, right? Was that right, Tim? I flew yeah. out to you. And oh, and, no, and we, he, we, we we did some stuff down in Florida. Oh, that's right. He came to yeah. He came to Florida, man. And he was. We were sitting. We we got a song. It's on. A, it's called Marie's song. And uh, we were in a, we were in a hotel room. Him and I. And he walked out. And he goes, "I got these lyrics I wrote. It's about his wife Marie." And I looked at him. This is this is a true story, Jay. I looked at the lyrics, and I've been. I had had this music. It had been in my head. I had it for like a couple of years. I was. I used to play it all the time. I would play the song and I, and I always said to myself, this music is for something, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. He, he laid the lyrics down and I started playing this music and started singing the words that were on a paper and he fit, they fit perfectly. That's how it happened. Seriously. So Tim, and, and, do, you, and, and, do you, do you, Tim, do you tailor your, your current lyrics or what you're writing for, uh, for, well, you know, for Johnny, uh, or is it just naturally what you do and, he does. Well, what I, he got, does. I was coming home tonight, today, from working out, and a song just came into my head, and I wrote it down when I got home. This is Marie's song. Here it is. As I goes, it goes another song with another story. I'm playing, man. There you go. Just a little too much. Just a little too many. Hey, hey. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's fun. But we we wrote a, a CD, and the, most of the songs I wrote when I was in a psych ward, because I got some <laughs> problems. He was. He's a psycho. <laughs> I, I got a little bipolar disease that kind of beats me up, and uh, but I but wrote that's what but. But that's what trick that that's what helps you write these lyrics. Yeah, I could you couldn't write them unless uh, you had something wrong with you. He's 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 a psycho like you, Jay, or me. <laughs> but people will read my lyrics and they'll start crying. I can they write actually, really, really deep. Oh wow. You can. He really that's what I'm saying. This CD is like this is like it's it's akin to uh, Dark Side of the Moon. We has we have segues between songs and things like that. And and he's he's just when Tim writes, man, he just picks up a pen and he just goes. It's like it just boom, boom. It just comes. It's not like he has to sit there and think about it for uh, hours and days, man. He, no. man, he picked up and, and it's like I was writing. He he wrote the lyrics for this one song. I can't remember what it was. And I'm sitting there in his house playing the music to it and singing it. He oh, don't blame me like that. Yeah. Well, no, this is when you and he come up and tap me on the shoulder while I'm playing this other one and singing it. And he and he handed it to me. I looked down at it. And it was called Don't Blame Me Like That. And I just it just came to my head and I started playing. I just started playing the music and started singing it like nothing. This stuff, that's what's freaking us out is that it just happens so easily and smoothly. It's its just wild. It's weird. Yeah, I, I wrote it and Johnny started playing it in 40 minutes. I, it took me some time to type it up. Takes him longer to type up the songs yeah. than it does to write them. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. Yeah, well, those are the best songs, usually the ones that just flow, you know? Exactly. Yeah, but that's all of them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, always, you got to work too hard important. on them. Sometimes it might not meant to be, but uh, no, nah, I throw them away. I've had to, you know, spend more than ten minutes on it. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. But see, man, but see that's the thing. It's a, it just this this thing with between the Tim and I. It just, it just it just happened like like normal. Like it was like everyday thing. It's it, like it was supposed to. It just fell right into place. There was there was didn't have to work at any of it. You know what I mean? Well, that's beautiful stuff. So and Johnny's such a great musician. I mean, he hears stuff I don't hear, and it's like, wow, it's uh, pretty incredible. Yeah, well, he's he's got those instincts from all the years of doing this, you know. That's right. Now, plus I got plus I got another outside help that I won't mention because everybody will think I'm crazy, but that's okay. Yeah, you are crazy. I am, I am crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Now, now, how many songs have you finished, and what's it going to take to finish the album? With 10, 12 well, songs? What are you doing? Well, we got, we, we got, I'm going to go in the studio next week and do a, like I said, I'm going to scr do the scratch tracks with the click track for the 12 songs for the CD. So and okay. get it to Carmine and, and see if Carmine so aim can in, do Aiming for 12 songs. The way? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But there's not a weak song in the bunch. Yeah. Well, I've, 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 I've laid down no 50 filler. scratch tracks. I, I've laid down 50 songs, 50, 50 scratch track songs. And we, we picked these, these 12 for the first CD. So we're going to do this. 
get Carmine to play on it. Or if not, we got some other people. I got a lot. I know a lot of musicians. You know, Jay, like you know a lot of people. Yeah, of course. I know a lot of musicians. Yeah, I mean, our last song will bring you to your knees. I no, mean, it, it's called Please, Please. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's deep. Wow. Well, we can't wait to hear. Uh, we plan nice. to do. We we'll plan to do another. Uh, That's it. We'll do another interview with you guys when you have it all completed and ready to come Definitely. out. Definitely. That'll yeah. be a treat. So the, the music, Johnny, just he, uh, every song on this CD is good. There's no filler. Yeah. There's no weak words. There's no. Stupid. It really is, man, because because they're different. We got a song in there called Mania. It's like techno pop. It's got a drum machine. And I'm and I do this this voice that I uh I sing like uh when I get up I'm out of sight when I get down I hit on the ground and it's like <laughs> people say when I play for people they go who's that singing I go that's me man I'm singing on every song I just I change it up you know and each song uh, Jay each song has it's it's a uh, it's unique it's got it's it, you know it's not like they all sound like two or three are really good and then the rest all sound the same each song's got a, a just a different thing man I don't know and the, the theme to the album is mental health. Because uh, it's called Songs from the Ward. Yeah, the album's called Songs from the Ward. <laughs> <laughs> like Alice Cooper, he had an album called From the Inside about being That's right. Ward. That's right. And we and, and the title track song is called Songs from the Ward, you know. <laughs> so Yeah. You know, yeah. Because uh, I wrote most of it in a psych ward. It's Tim's heart, man, and it's my music, yeah. you know, because I really can't do words. I can do a few here and there, but Tim has got the gift and he just well, it, it sounds like the perfect combination, you know. Like you say, El Elton John and Bernie Taupin. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many Bernie Taupin's written, but I wrote <laughs> 700 in three years. Okay. Crazy. Yeah, I know. It's nuts. You just sit down to write or you wait for the inspiration? No, I just sit down and write. And it takes me, you know, three, five minutes to write it down. A little longer to type it, and then I got to send it off to the lawyer to copyright it. Yeah, we got them all, all copyrighted, man. That's perfect. Well, we're uh, certainly looking forward to doing a progress report. Our special Definitely. guests are Tim Ryan and the one and only Johnny Rod, the Rod Ryan band. And yeah, we're, there might be a clone we're connecting. There, right? We're connecting California, Colorado, and Florida here, three of the greatest states in America. So let's yeah, uh, uh, wish you guys best yeah. of luck in finishing. And okay. I, I already know we're going to do a, another session when it's all set to come out and help you guys get the word out. Can okay, I leave man, you with some lyrics? Yes, please. Peter Rabbit has been left behind. Listen. He was once the best. <laughs> if you can figure that one out, you're pretty good. It's kind of a it's kind of like a riddle. It's a riddle. I love Peter it. Peter Rabbit is left behind. He was the be he was once the best. I love it. Can well, you get it? Well, well, Tim, thanks for joining us. Okay, Johnny, thank you. It's a pleasure. All right, man. Jay, thank you, man, so much, I'll man. I'll have to look you up next time I'm out in Colorado. I love that place. Thanks, Thanks guys. Hey, good to see you. Give us Appreciate a call, it. man. Give me a call, Jay. Let me know.